Hi, this is Sarah with Posh Pooch Designs, and today's video is part two of our crochet along, Blossom Headband. In part one, we talked about gathering your supplies, and we talked about how to create or how to stitch two single crochets together in order to form our blossom petals. Now, this is a free pattern on my blog, and I will put that blog link in the comments under the video. All right, let's get started with part two. Like I said, you're going to need your eye hook, and for our demonstration, we're using Red Heart Super Saver, not Super Saver, Red Heart Sparkle Soft. I love sparkle yarns. Can you see that sparkle? All right. And this uh, headband will fit an 18 to 20 inch head, 20, I mean, uh, youth to adult. But because we're going to be attaching a band like this in the back, it will give us a little extra stretch. All right, I'm gonna move my screen down. Be sure and subscribe to my YouTube channel though. That way you won't miss other crochet alongs. All right, now I've already started our demonstration because we're going to begin by chaining 53 chains. And I figure I'll go, I went ahead and got that started so you didn't have to watch me chain. <laughs> All right, we're going to begin with our first triple crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. One, two, three, four. So we yarned over twice, we're pulling a loop through, yarn over, go through the first two loops, yarn over, go through the second two loops, and leave those two on your hook. Then we're going to yarn over twice again, go right back in that same hole, pull a loop through, yarn over two, pull a loop over, yarn over two, and you'll have three loops on your yarn on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three of those. And we formed our first petal. Now we're going to chain four, one, two, three, four. Okay, the next thing is we're going to yarn over and we're going to make two more triple crochets together in that same chain hole. All right, go through two, go through two, yarn over twice, pull a loop through, yarn over two, yarn over two. We have our three loops, yarn over and pull through all three loops and chain one. Two petals of our blossom. Yarn over and skip four. One, two, three, four. We go in the fifth chain. There we go, pull a loop through, and we're gonna do two triple crochets together again. Yarn over twice in that same hole. Now we've formed our third petal. We're gonna chain four, one, two, three, four. And we'll do two more triple crochets together in that same hole. Oop, almost finished my triple crochet. Don't want to do that. Two wraps, go through the same hole, pull a loop through. Yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. Now we have the three loops on our hook. Yarn over and go through all three, chain one. And this is the pattern that you will do across the headband. You'll make two triple cro crochets together, chain four, two triple crochets together in that same chain. Then you'll skip four, and you'll do two triple crochets together, chain four, two triple crochets together, and chain one. And that's the pattern you'll do all the way across. And I have one ready here for you, so you can see how that will look. And you will end up with 10 sets of two petals all the way across. Now, when you get to the end of that first side, we're going to turn. You're going to chain four, and you should have three chains on, the, on your end, and you're going to slip stitch in the end of that chain. 
slip stitch, then chain four. One, two, three, four. Then we're going to turn our headband and we'll be working in the same holes of our petals. And we're going to be putting two petals in each hole like we did before. So wrap twice, go in that same hole, stitch two triple crochets together, chain four, one, two, three, four, and then we'll do two more triple crochets together and that will give us four petals all together for both sides. Chain one, and you can see we've made four petals, two on each side, and we'll continue to work this all the way across. All right. One, two, three, four. Two triple crochets and chain one. It's pretty much the same pattern as we did on the first, except we're not having we're stamping the chains, but it's already prepared for us, so we can go right into the center of our flower without having to count too much. One, two, three, four. Two triple crochets for our next petal. Now, another thing that you can do is you can do this with a lighter weight yarn and make sure you go down a hook size and you may have to add more flowers um, if you want it to be long enough. I think also it would be really pretty to do in a chunky yarn for this fall and maybe doing fall colors like a burnt orange or something and like a um, chunky And then it would be warm enough to be a headband or a um, ear warmer band. I'm never one to stick to the status quo. I love to try new and different yarns. I love to try new and different techniques. I'm not that person who has to have everything um, spelled out for them, like exact measurements or exact amounts of yarn. I just love to just practice and um, to see what I can come up with. I'll see a certain yarn and I'll think, oh, I've got to come up with something beautiful for that. You know, especially like this sparkle yarn. This, I just love sparkle yarn. All righty, we're getting to the end here. Oh, no, we're not. <laughs> I tricked you. <laughs> we just have a few more to do. And it goes pretty fast once you get the, the routine down. The stitch down, I mean, it is, it's really easy. You can see one, two, three, four. Just make sure you put two petals in each hole and chain four between, and you should be just fine. Now, in order to make this for a child, just um, chain less. Oh, I'm losing that. There we go. I believe it's... Um, Here's my little measure. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like <laughs> it's backwards. <laughs> there we go. It looks like each one between measures about an inch and a half. So you would have to, um, you know, make it smaller. Just add less chains. I think it's like um, five chains makes an inch and a half to three, four, and of course for a small child you could do a lighter weight yarn. That would be really pretty. All right, we're getting there. Chain one. Whoops, gotta have two wraps to make our petal. Now, one person told me I crochet too fast, and one thing you need to remember about YouTube is you can pause it 
and you can rewatch it as often as you want to. So if I go too fast, you can watch it over and over again until you get it or pause it on a certain spot and rewatch that particular spot. All right, two more flowers. And we'll be done. There we go. One, two, three, four. Chain one. And now we're in our last petal. I'm going to turn this way just to make it a little easier for you to see. We're in our last petal, and we're going to do it the same way, of course, We're going because it needs to have its two petals. There's our first one. One, two, three, four. Two, okay, there's our wrap. Now we're going to do our two triples together. All right, now we're at the end. What we need to do is chain four, one, two, three, four. And then we're going to make one triple crochet in that same hole as our last, our last flower. So here's our tr one triple all by itself. And then we're going to chain four, one, two, three, four and join to that top of that chain three we started with. And slip stitch, and I'm gonna just pull that tight and pull the loop up so it doesn't come undone. Okay, so at the end, you should have these two holes. And here's the other end, that string out of the way. Because we had that chain there, we didn't need to make a triple crochet. And that's the way it should look, just like that. And that is the end of step two. In step three, I'm going to show you how to put the trim on and how to attach the band. So thank you for watching our YouTube video and I hope you understand a little more how to do that two triple crochets together. And you know, you can watch part one as often as you need to for the demonstration. So uh, again, thank you. And looking forward to crocheting with you together. Come crochet with us. Have a nice day.